आईएएस गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम प्रकाश कलपतर ऑफर शेयर साइंस कॉलेज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट द वुड एनाटॉमी एज अ पार्ट ऑफ बॉटनी सब्जेक्ट इट इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट इन एन एनाटॉमी हियर वी हैव टू स्टडी एनाटॉमिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द वुड फॉर आवर कन्वीनियंस the uh, topic wood has been uh, divided into three parts part 1 part 2 part 3 now we will take up part 1 wood anatomy under part 1 what is wood so here wood means uh, the secondary xylem formed as a result of kpl activity is nothing but wood now here wood is the major part of the woody plants especially the angiosperms which are perennial not annual or biennial perennial angiosperm plant tree plants are having lot of wood made up of secondary xylem it is very commercial value it has commercial value wood is used for many purposes now let us consider uh, the uh, wood of uh, the function of the wood here in the plant body the major function for part by the wood is number 1 mechanical strength it provide mechanical strength to the plant body secondly it uh, supplies water minerals from one part of the plant body to the another plant of the plant body in the early stage and now the wood is used for construction purpose building construction purpose like a door frame etc and furniture purpose and firewood purpose likewise lot of use a lot number of uses are there now here if you take a wood for example the wood the log log is there log means a, a piece of wood it exhibit uh, two planes one is the longitudinal plane is it not what we call as axial plane we call and uh, the another one is from center to periphery if you take a log uh, size of uh, 5 or 6 or 8 or 10 feet diameter from center to periphery this is called radial radial system we call so plane of wood is exhibit radial system and axial system likewise now the wood majorly as i told you know it is made up of xylem and xylary elements particularly vessels and tracheids now the vessels and tracheids are having highly lignified walls particularly they made up of cellulose fiber yemi cellulose fiber lignin and other secondary metabolites so all these are impregnated in the cell wall the cells are compactly arranged and compressed to form a hard wood the chemical analysis of the wood shows if you take a wood and analyze chemically what are the chemical present in the wood now here the wood mainly made up of carbon 50% if you take any kind of wood the wood mainly made up of carbon it accounts for 50% next oxygen it is for 42% and next hydrogen so three elements are the major elements one is the carbon and another one is the oxygen and third one is the hydrogen 6% and nitrogen 1% and others others means calcium magnesium sodium potassium chloride there are so many elements are there in the wood so all other accounts for 1% so totally if you take a wood a wood consisting of carbon oxygen nitrogen hydrogen and other chemicals now if you take the suction and observe under the microscope there are it's a, a, a big topic uh, i don't want to cover all those things as far as the syllabus is concerned we restrict our talk to the anatomical structure only now the wood is consisting of as i told you xylem xylem nalli 
Reiki Sadir, Vezal Sadir, Zayam Sriram Kema Fiber Sadir, Stones and Sadir. In addition to this, the Taram Kema associated with the Zaylari elements is nothing but the Wood Karan Kema. How it is actually? See, Wood Karan Kema, it is a plane of Karan Kema cells are there. The Karan Kema cells are embedded in the tissue in between the xylem elements. They run from pith to the endodermal region in between the xylemy elements. Now here the wood parenchyma, the wood parenchyma. So exhibit a special type of structure. Now here what is that means? See for example uh, if I see this is a vessel See, this is the vessel, xylem vessel we call. You know what is xylem vessel? A vessel is a, a tubular structure meant for the conduction of water present in the secondary wood. On either side of the vessel, the living parenchyma cells are there. See, these are the parenchyma cells. The parenchyma associated with xylem is called xylem parenchyma. Now, the xylem parenchyma are living cells, thin wall cells having lot of protoplasm and they are nucleated here and there the, in the pit region. It means a small area having thin walls or nothing but pit region. So now in the pit region, the inner wall of the xylem parenchyma protrude in the form of balloon, balloon like structure. See, balloon-like structures are nothing but stylosis. See here, you must be very careful writing this. Stylosis means S-E-S, plural, S-I-S, singular. So now, there will be a question on stylosis. So, write a note on stylosis. Stylosis are nothing but the balloon-like protrusions of the xylem parenchyma. So, there penetrate into the xylem element, that is the lumen of the Xylem. Now, how they are going to develop? See here in the beginning, the wall of the parenchyma bulge and penetrate into the vessel and receives the protoplasmic content and enlarge. And as the balloon like structure enlarge, what will happen? So, so many tylosis will be developed. So, as the tylosis will develop, here there may be one and another may be one. Gradually, when the tylosis are developed into uh, lumen of the vessel, the lumen gradually blocked by the number of balloon-like structure called tylosis. They help in storage of food material and they store orgastic substances. At the same time, they block the lumen and this uh, lumen formation, this balloon form, balloon-like structure formation is mainly responsible for the what we call as uh, uh, depth of the xylem elements. So in the old uh, stem, in the old wood, so if you take the suction of the vessel, you can see large number of uh, the tylosis. So tylosis gradually embedded and uh, they do the uh, oh, living character. They are filled with uh, so many other gastric substances, secondary metal metabolites and lock the xylem vessels. This is about uh, tylosis. So often and on there will be a question, what is tylosis? Mention the function, all significance, etc. So now the next part is uh, this, here medullary rays. So medullary rays means, see here, this is one uh, xylem element that is called vessel. Now here, highly thickened one. Now in between, see here, in between the xylem elements, the thin sheet of maybe uniserate means made up of only one cell in thickness. Biserate may be two cells in thickness or more than two cells in thickness. Means the elongated parenchyma run in between the xylem elements from pith to the endodermal cell is called medullary rays. The medullary rays may be uniseriate biseriate or multiseriate. So depending upon the uh, variety of uh, uh, wood we can see. Now here 
they may be there are two types of medullary rays one is uh, primary medullary rays and secondary medullary rays primary medullary rays means uh, um, medullary rays the parenchyma which develop from the beginning embryonic development embryonic development these secondary medullary rays are formed during the course of uh, secondary growth by the activity of the cambial ring so cambial ring is responsible for the secondary medullary rays so this is how they would uh, consisting of uh, uh, the uh, structures like uh, say here this is very important what is wood and uh, what are the functions of the wood and the uses of wood and uh, the wood is uh, mainly made up of all this uh, uh, components oxygen carbon nitrogen hydrogen and others and uh, here in addition to this structural aspect as considered so the wood is made up of uh, xylem elements uh, parenchyma wood parenchyma and medullary rays and all this so this is all about uh, the first part of the wood anatomy now let us uh, uh, start uh, the second part uh, that is about the annual rings and all okay so take a rest and uh, uh, till uh, next uh, hour uh, just go through the um, information and if any have doubt you can just clarify with me